Select a destination from the listing on the left monitor. Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play The Journeyman Project Turbo. So since last time, we finally are getting the game going, because we have our three time zones that we have to go to. The first time zone we're actually going to go to is the Morimoto Mars Colony. The reason for this is actually it makes the game much more streamlined. If you were going to any other time zone other than this one, you would actually come to the point where you would need to go to another time period and find an inventory item in order to continue. But going to Mars first negates doing backtracking and other things like that. So let's get started. Now there's a little bit of cryptic imagery before we start during the time travel. The last little message that we hear before we end it, where it's like, I will assassinate, and then it kind of goes into weird stuff. But anyway, we're on Mars now. Hooray! This door will unlock in an emergency. Apparently this isn't an emergency. But yeah, we're on Mars. Hurrah! I like the footfalls in this area, too. Shadow lock active. Launch not authorized. So there's three shuttle docks here, and all of them say the same message as I'm going through this place. Now, actually, down this hallway, you actually in Pegasus Prime, you're actually greeted by several different monitors that actually pose the same message, but in three different languages. I believe it's um, English, Japanese, and Chinese, which made this like there was multilingualism in this game, which was really nice to see. I have a feeling that, like me, he's also not supposed to be there. So, uh, yeah, that's, that's not, that's not a good thing to say. Alright, so we have three directions that we can go to. We can go to the right. I'm actually going to go to the right and look at this wonderful screen here. Welcome to Crisae Planitia, more commonly known as Mars. They even try to make some sort of an accent. Pegasus Prime has even worse accents than this game, so we kind of have that good thing, and we can actually learn a bit, little bit about the colony. Like a heavenly siren, Mars lures us to its inhospitable shores with visions of an earthly splendor. The atmosphere of this planet, which is composed mainly of carbon dioxide, is only one one hundredth as dense as that of Earth. However, thanks to an atmospheric energy shield, you can enjoy the majesty of the immense volcano Olympus Mons, the vast canyons known as Copertes and Copertes Minor, and many of Mars' other natural wonders from within the comfort of Morimoto Corporation's Mars colony. The generator for the colony's atmospheric shield lies far beneath the planet's surface, the legacy of the miners whose abandoned caverns this colony is built over. 
Construction of the colony should be completed by June of 2190. Please enjoy your stay. The Morimoto Mars colony occupies two square miles of space on the edge of the canyon known as Copertis Minor. The walls of this canyon host the shuttle docking bay as well as the gantry from which the shuttles are launched and the accelerator tube which shoots them out into space. A closer look at the gantry reveals its 140 foot stretch across the canyon and a three cockpit module nose which transport pilots to and from the ships. You're currently in the entry hall of the shuttle port. The red areas at the top and bottom of the map indicate remnants of the old mining colony which have not yet been renovated. These areas are for authorized personnel only. The path at the left center of the map is the main entrance to the colony. Okay, so that's it for the Mars colony information. Hope that, hopefully that brought some insight into anything. Outside you can see the wonderful 140 meter bridge across the canyon. Even though we can't see much, there's a red glow on the horizon. Probably the sun. However, well, let's start by going to the right. How about that? Oh, airlock. All right. Warning, life support systems not active beyond this point. It's not breathable. But I'm kind of in this environment now. Well, let's pressurize anyway. I don't think it really matters. Because I want to go down here. Magic spin, magic, magic spin, it. oh. Okay, we suffocated. Yeah, nah, nah. They, they do get snarky in the death messages, though. Get this through your thick skull. Alright, I'll be right back. Okay, since we can't go this direction, let's try another direction. How about the center? Let's actually go into the colony proper. Yay, welcome. Okay, so there's... Well, there's other people. I suppose this could be some sort of stealth section. I mean... It doesn't really mean that I'm not going to be able to interact with humans. I just have to make sure that I'm not seen. No, whenever you're in the vicinity of any sort of human being whatsoever, you get this death screen. Uh-huh. Now, I believe, yeah, this, I believe this is also the death screen for if you run out of energy. You're pretty much caught by security because you're stuck here. Eventually, you're found, and you're pulled away. So, I'll be right back, and we'll actually go the right way. Okay, so unfortunately... The only way that we can go is actually the direction that the giant robot went. Um, not really the place you want to actually go. Now here's another screen. Welcome to Crisae Planitia, more commonly known as Mars. But it's the same information, so we don't have to deal with it. Here's a different look. Hey, and there's even lights blinking here. That's actually a nice touch for the age. Oh, sweet, we get to take a little train ride. So yeah, the whole um, area of this is actually not being in the Mar Mars colony itself, but um, the old abandoned mining colony that was underneath the Mars colony beforehand. I believe if I got that right. Probably didn't. However, there's two items that we can get in here that are very hard to spot. One is wire cutters, which we can't really do anything with. And they're made of Damascus, like, wow, these are very strong, very thick wire cutters. Alright. 
Oh, <clears throat> I do. And also, we get a maintenance key. Opening maintenance access panels. Well, I'm sure this will come in handy. Anyway, we got the Queen from Outer Space poster over here. Anyway, let's go down the tram rides. Now, going down this tram ride in Pegasus Prime, it was actually it's actually also seen as more of an interactive section, even though even in Pegasus Prime the interactive section was not implemented. So it's pretty much the same as watching this. However, it looks nicer. And also, one thing I forgot to mention was the fact that the colony personnel in Pegasus Prime, you get to see them with, like, thermal vision you get with your eyepiece. You actually get to see two personnel people playing rock, paper, scissors behind the door. Um, it's kind of an interesting feature, I suppose. Maintenance transport ready. Good. Okay. Maintenance transport. Well, we seem to be underground now, which looks pretty interesting. It's still... It, it's very red down here. Oh, God. Out of my way, human, Um, the, the, I'm, I'm kind of the, 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 the uh, um, uh, maybe, uh? No? Oh, well, I didn't move. Um, take a wild guess. Well, I, I guess tremble in fear is not a proper way of dealing with it. Let's see, you can see the, ugh. Some of these are very graphic. Well, I think we'll be getting to the most graphic one in this video. Yeah, okay. Be right back and we'll deal with the robot properly. Hi, Mr. Robot. N uh, n nice day we're having, huh? Alright, I can see you're in a hurry, so I won't um, bother you. perfectly fine. He has things to do. He doesn't have time for idle chit-chat. I mean, what else could it be? Oh, well, looks like we can pick up something here. We can pick up an ox. It looks like an oxygen mask. Now one thing about Pegasus Prime is that you pick up the oxygen mask here, but you don't get the oxygen here. You actually have to go to a different time zone and fill it up at a specific spot. Here, however, we can just pick up the oxygen mask and we're good to go. Even though it's a bit old and we can only have about 8 minutes of oxygen wearing it, well, it's, it'll have its uses, especially with the future. That's a good enough excuse, right? Well, we, eh. we have another, looks like we have another thing here. Life support systems not active beyond this point. Alright, that's perfectly understandable. We can just put on the oxygen mask. We just have to click the oxygen mask and say use. Pressurize. And it looks like we're good to go for what we previously could not do. Alright, let's spin ourselves around. Um, okay, wasn't expecting this. Apparently we just kind of diverted ourselves to actually stopping the explosion of the Mars colony. If you forgot, that's what we're here to do. But apparently this direction does not lead us to it. Maybe it's where the robot was. Where it was coming from, the shield generator. I'll meet you back there. 
Alright, now that the robot's out of the way, we can head to where he was beforehand. Shield generator. Well, this doesn't look safe at all. Um, yeah, okay. Now, in Pegasus Prime, this, this was actually kind of a little bit of a puzzle, where, um, where you actually have to go. This one, you just have to hit return to last position that it was, where the robot was and what he was doing there. Puzzle solved. Not really a puzzle, but... Alright. The second puzzle in Pegasus Prime was actually getting by... Um, if I lower the diagnostic screen here, you have to actually get by this panel here. Now, the solution is very easy in this case, but Pegasus Prime actually makes it a lot harder. In Prime, you get a crowbar in this time period, but you have to go to enough, but it's not enough to open the panel. You don't get a key or anything, so you have to go to another period in order to find, I believe, liquid nitrogen. You have to find a nitrogen canister and fill it with nitrogen and turn it into liquid nitrogen, freeze the panel, smash it with the crowbar, and then you're good to go. Very long process. Here, we can just use the maintenance key. Um... Something's amiss? Okay, let's just check some stuff. Fully operational, good. Uh, measure output levels. Everything's good. You can also run diagnostics. Okay. Um, okay, what to do here? We can either analyze it or attempt to remove it. Uh, uh. Well, you know what? Let's actually attempt to remove this thing. What could possibly go wrong? Oh, that. <laughs> yeah, we were... Uh, right in an explosion, and... By circumstance, we were actually the cause of the explosion of the Mars colony. How great of us. We No one will ever know that we were the perpetrator, but... Yeah, now our atoms are scattered all over the Martian landscape. Alright, well, I'll be right back and let's actually analyze this stupid thing. All right, analyzing. Analyzing. Explosive device detected in card slot. So, here we go. This is a pain of a puzzle. Apparently we have an explosive device wired in the access card slot. We have to get it out of there, which means that we have to attempt a circuit link to the detonator. by filling them in with the appropriate color nodes. Now accessing level one. Choose a color node. This is a puzzle that a lot of people who've played this game hate. This game kind of plays out like Mastermind. In the case of you are given different um, pieces, numbers, colors, whatever, and you have to place them in a certain order, and only one order is correct. So you're given five chances to figure out what goes in here. So let's try. Node one, red. Node two, yellow. Node three, green. One node, correct. So as you can see, one node is in the correct position. The problem is you don't know what it is. And the solution is completely random every time you play. You can't cheat this puzzle. So we have a starting point, so let's see what we can build around it. Okay, so yellow is not correct, so let's move... Let's move this around. 
You are also given a generous amount of time. You're given seven minutes. Oh, I got it right. You do have completed level one. Sweet. Now access level two. Choose a color. So the only difference between the levels is there. There's three levels. Once you complete a level, another node is added. So now there's so many more combinations that we can make. Node one, blue. Node two, yellow. Node three, green. Zero nodes, correct. Okay, so that doesn't work. Node one, red. Node two, green. Node three, blue. Zero nodes, correct. Um, this is not going well. <laughs> node one, green. Node two, red. Node three, yellow. Three nodes, Sweet. correct. You have completed. Sweet. All right. Now, <laughs> from zero to everything. Choose a color node. Level three is, of course, the hardest because you have five nodes to carry. All right, let's get cracking. Node one, purple. Really, there's no method in order to figure out any of this. You just start clicking nodes and you hope for the best. Zero nodes, correct. In this case, I have no luck. Node one, red. Node two, blue. Node three, green. Zero nodes, correct. Okay, by logic, I should be able to get this in the next try. Node one, yellow. Node two, green. Uh, node three, purple. Zero nodes, correct. Wow, I am fantastic. Okay. Uh, so what... I, I am definitely dumbing down the odds. So let's see here. One. Really, I only have a couple more combinations that I could do. Um, let me see. Node two, that one. Red. And that Node one. Three, yellow. One node. Shoot. I was, I was looking for three. Come on. <laughs> Give me three. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay, Node let's try one. blue in the right in that spot then. Um, Node two, purple. Full red. Booyah! Booyah! Alright. Now, that was the first try. I'm... I'm very happy. And now safe to, roo to remove the explosive device. So explosive device is probably the most valuable item in the game that we get to carry around with us. If I could put it in my inventory. Thank you. So, actually that is it. That is it for the solution to saving the Mars colony from explosion. So you think we'd be done, but according to the files, we are actually still not done. The next area is that we that there was an alien ship that came and it was blown up. So now we have to now we have to make sure that that alien ship does not get destroyed. There's also a lot of radiation here, so I better get out of here. However, that is going to be for next time, everybody, so until next time, take it easy, because we just have a bomb, we now have a bomb in our pocket. See you next time, everyone.